Yeah, what's good, cryptocurrency fans out there? Welcome back to the Everything Altcoin channel. Today, we're going to be talking about some RWA plays today. I'm trying to see what's good. Uh, you can't hear the background music? Is the background music playing right now? I got to hear it. Let me know, guys. As you guys come in, let me know. Let me know. We got Jay on the stream today. I was going to be a little hype today, too. Oh, my God. I see the comments coming in. Lenny, first. Uh, when blast off. When blast off. We waiting for that. Um, We waiting for that one. I don't know what Jake thoughts are, but ho hopefully we get Zoe on the stream today, too. Hopefully we get Zoe on the stream today. Jay, you can hear me? Let me see. Hold up. Jay, you can hear me? Yeah. Boom, boom. We got Jay in there now. Everybody should be here. I was actually looking into sold this a few days ago. Mm. Tell me what you think, Super. Euro EA, you've been on fire lately. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Base is hot right now. I've been telling people. Been telling people, man. Uh, also, Future Drop today. What's the song you've been having on repeat? Yo, I was just listening to some Future just now. I just told Jay. Got that Young Metro on repeat right now. I uh, was going to ask you your thoughts on Equalizer decks on Phantom and Base Scale. We're going to have to look into that. Uh, so you can't hear the music? Oh my God. SMT, we got to put. Yeah, we're going to talk about SMT. No Hefe. Uh, Red Belly Network. I do like Red Belly. Not too many people still don't know about Red Belly yet. But where? why is my music not playing? Jay, go ahead and introduce yourself, my boy. What up, what up? Hey, I can hear your music. I don't know if everybody else can hear, but what up, y'all? Everything currency in the building, you know, finna handle this thing. Y'all follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Let's get it. Yeah, Super said there's background music. Music is good. You could hear it, but I don't know why they can't hear it, though. No, they can hear it. They said there's no background music. No, nah, they said there is background music. Two oh, people. there is background music? Why well, I can't hear it? Oh, there you go. Never mind. Now I can hear it. Now I can hear it. Oh, you didn't have the volume up, huh? Now I can hear it. Now I can hear it. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys already see the picture on screen. You guys know how I feel about this. My favorite picture. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We haven't been on for like about a week, right? It's been a yeah, little bit of time while, since we've yeah. been on, man. So you guys know, if you guys need yourself... A tangent wallet, get yourself one. Use code everything altcoins to store your cryptocurrencies. You know, uh, you guys want to get into some upcoming projects, private sales. I'm telling you guys, you guys are missing out on some of the biggest bangers of this cycle as of right now. If you're not in that Patreon group, we have been getting into a lot of bangers and we're going to continue to do so. This is about to be a banging year for us, man. So get yourself into that Patreon. Oh, get yourself into that Patreon group, right? Watch this video, the how-to guide on private cell investing. This is a very important video. Let's you know everything you need to know when it comes down to private cell investing, especially when it comes down with me. Oh, what is this? Sorry. <laughs> we having a lot of hiccups today. But anyways, shout out to Crypto Seth. Folk, winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. This is the quote of the week. I love this quote here. It's crazy. All the winners just focus on winning. Losers focus on uh, the winners as well. But you guys know we're going to continue to win over here if you guys pay attention to this channel as of right now. Right. And now Alex Becker says, I remember selling my first bull run dump. Wasn't a great experience. Hopefully you guys didn't sell on this dump here. You guys should probably be DCA in not financial advice, of course. But this it's not a big dump. This is just. A little correction then we're gonna go back up we're gonna talk a little bit more about that as the stream go on right now the fear and greed index is at 75 nothing too crazy right and the upcoming bitcoin having is cl closely resembles the last having cycle this is coming from coinbase guys they are pretty much saying that there's bullish signs going into april's having including the federal reserve's potential schedule for rate cuts which could see the first cut in may 
The current cycle most closely resembles the period from 2018 to 2022, during which Bitcoin gained 500% from its cycle's low. This is what Coinbase said. What do you think about this, Jay? I agree with him. You know, I, I can't really say much more. I feel like we, we ready. Yeah, we ready right now. We are ready <laughs> right now. Bitcoin is, where is Bitcoin? Oh, I got the top gainers up here right now. This is, we wasn't supposed to get to that one yet. Bitcoin is sitting at $63,000 after we saw like, what was the high? 74? We saw 70. Yeah, almost 75, man. It's crazy. 75. It's crazy. Right now we down to 63. This quick, it shows you guys how quickly we can move in this cycle right now, right? We was just at 74. We down 10K. A lot of people are scared. I don't even know why, but this is, this is just, it was just here. There's no reason to be right. scared. <laughs> we was just here. There was no reason to be scared at all. This is happening right before the April halving, which I believe we're going to see a big, a big pump. We might see 80 something K right after the halving, maybe into, into the halving, who knows, but I know we're going to be back up to 70 K very soon here. So for the top gainers and the top losers, this is the perfect time to talk about RWAs because a lot of RWAs have been going crazy right there's been a lot of talks about rwas and if you guys been paying attention to this channel you guys would have been ahead of the game you guys would have been waiting for this narrative now to come to you because it seems like people are now shifting from ai to rwas as more talks is coming into rwas right so right now just off of that you can see prop base here the top leading gainer up 43 percent this thing People have been talking about this a lot when it first, especially when it was about to come out, um, because it was going to be like the first RWA play on Aptos. So people are now very much so interested in prop base here, right? Some people are saying this is better than um, Relio and all of that. So this is one that's up right now. I don't know if you looked into this yet, Jay, but prop base is looking pretty good, right? Um, you got Mzine here. I don't even know what that is. Nose, this is back, back, back. <laughs> Jay, I know you remember Nose, man. Yeah, I remember Nose. How you feel about it trending today? Do you even know what they're doing lately? I don't even know what they're doing. You know what? I'm gonna pull them up. But I was, I, I was, I like Nose. You know, what I mean, I was bullish on Nose back in the day. They, they kind of slept a little bit, like everything else. Facts, facts. But um, yeah. So Punk City is up here as well. Blocks, inverse finance, quant uh, platform. I think this is something that has to do with quantum computing. I don't know. You guys been talking about it a lot. You got Alliance block up here again. Uh, Dex, Dex, Bo uh, Balsen protocol is also up here. We way Swarm Market. Somebody just asked for this, and I've been telling you guys. Remember when we was talking about Swarm Markets about twenty four something cents? Remember? Look where it's at now. Yeah, let me let me let me just let me just look at it a moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me. I just got to take a look at it just to just just for myself, you know, just to see how right I am. Um, you know, it was about twenty five cents pretty much 2x a little bit right about a year move you can see about a year move you guys could have gotten in pretty well i told you guys rwas is going to come back around it might just be the biggest or the second biggest narrative i'm gonna let you guys decide on that one i know it's in my top two i said ai rwas d pin no gaming then d pin all right so right now you guys are starting to see swarm markets really going up there as well um and then you scroll down some more other ones here what else is here uh, Dia, I think that was a uh, Oracle play, ICP, Book of Memes. How you been feeling about memes lately? A lot of memes have been going crazy, Jay. Um, I've been playing with the memes, but only just like just to get extra get extra cash, like you know. What I mean? Yeah, extra it's so it's so it's so easy. Yeah, get extra liquidity. Like, remember how when before it was like you use altcoins to get more Bitcoin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like use use memes to get more altcoins. <laughs> that's a fair. That's a fair move. That's a fair move. That's a fair move. I have not touched not one single meme that come out lately. Book of memes. This thing is, it's just been I running too been crazy. Going, yeah. Some of those are just going too crazy, but just, I want people to know that like when those crazy ones, like book of memes, bonk, those are not like, uh, what's the word? Organic. <laughs> they definitely ain't <laughs> starting off organic. That's all. Yo, I'm people are just creating like, memes left and right. People are asking mm -hmm. me to create memes. I'm like, yo, listen, I'm staying out the meme game. You guys do what you want. 
Yeah, hey. we're not creating that. Over here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just watch it from the. I'm gonna just watch it from the sidelines, really, right? But that's all from the top gainers and losers right now. Now, also, I've been telling you guys, get yourself some ENS names, guys. I've been telling you guys, mm -hmm. ENS. If you guys pay attention to this channel, I said ENS was gonna be pretty big. Google quietly adds ENS to search. So you're essentially going to be able to search ENS names, Ethereum name service, if you guys don't know what that is. Essentially domains. This Brave browser, actually, there's some there's some actual like projects, not projects, but actual people in this space that allow you to create a domain off of your ENS name. And this is like the move to Web3 where people are starting to talk about it and all of that. I bought a bunch of ENS names that I plan on flipping later on. This is like the dot .com, dot .com um, era pretty much for Ethereum and all of that. And I've been saying it multiple times especially you guys should have been paying attention especially when gold daddy added ens to their website so ens is making moves continue to pay attention to ens man it just makes it just makes everything on the metamask or evm side easier you get to send it to a username instead of like you know the, the freaking numbers and letters and all of that you mess that up you, you send it to somebody else instead of that you could just send it to you know everything currency dot e and you get it there easily, right? And you could also probably use it as a gamer tag or something. Who knows? There's too much possibilities with ENS names. Yeah, and you can have it as your website, have people send money there. You can do so many things with that. So yeah. Facts. Facts, facts. Or get your ENS name. Now, Ethereum, Ethereum ETF might be coming in May. I this is the same, this is the same headlines, same headlines they have for the Bitcoin um ETFs talking about it might be bearish. You guys know for damn sure this is not about to be bearish at all. This is Here's about to why many. <laughs> they <laughs> this trying is to say, they're trying to make people. They trying to make people think this is bearish. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no idea, bro. I have no That's idea. Crazy. I hope y'all not getting caught with these headlines as of right now. If an Ethereum ETF comes out, just know ETH is about to be extremely bullish. That's even more bullish for a lot of the altcoins as well. So we're excited if this comes in May. We're gonna have to see. All right, we're gonna have to see. Also, Immutable and Polygon launched an inevitable games fund with the hopes of raising a hundred million dollars. So gaming is not dead yet. There's more money flowing into gaming right now, right? Also, now time for some news that's happening on the crypto space from the gaming side of least. Right now, if you guys don't know, Citus Hero have partnered with chain gpt essentially you guys know citus has their citus pad chain gpt there's actually a new play that's coming out on there called engines of fury i don't know if they actually have it on here just yet let me see because we got into the private cell of engines of fury i'm sure they have tweeted out about it but engines of fury is going to be on their uh site here we go boom Engines of Fury is going to be the first IDO on the Citus pad. They're also going to be launching on Chain GPT as well. So a lot of things is happening for Citus, and the Citus token isn't looking too bad as of right now. Still at a seventy-five million dollar market cap. You guys, you guys know we've been talking about this a lot, right? And you can see from the all-time high to the all-time lows. Is there potential? There could potentially be some potential there. Of course, we have to see this whole new launch pad thing. I see how big it becomes for Citus as of right now. They're looking to be a gaming launch pad. So they're competing with um, Cedify, um, some other some other launch pad, I think is GameFi and some other ones. So let's see what comes from Citus Heroes right now. How you feel about Citus Heroes, Jay? Um, to be honest, I don't know much about Citus Heroes. I'm just learning about it on the stream. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, it was a it was a nice little game from last cycle. Um, I still have high hopes on it. Um, I was mainly playing the Senate token expecting the senate token to have uh the run that the run that uh that the star atlas token had the star atlas pose token right now it is at a 10 million dollar market cap it has better tokenomics than C uh citus i believe they should use this more for their launch pad but that's just my opinion this would have gave it a little bit more utility more re uh, relevance as people just see it as a governance token as of right now they use this as their launch pad this thing would explode as of right now but that's another discussion for another day game swift joins the nvidia developer program i hope you guys still have not been sleeping on game swift right now this thing it looks like it's going to be a big giant in the gaming space as of right now and i'm still very excited about it it's still at a good accumulation zone at a 34 million dollar market cap it does fluctuate right you can see 
It got up to about 70 something cents, 77 cents over there, came back down to the 60s. And I just want to go for another leg up. Of course, let's just see. You guys know I'm a very big uh, proponent of Game Swift here. And the gaming space needs Game Swift. Next, this is good news for both projects here. AIT Protocol has partnered with Inspect. They're pretty much working on their the Tau subnet. If you guys don't know, that was one of the little sub narratives that we had a little bit where anything Tau related was just going nuts. Well, Inspect and AIT, the two actual subnets on Tau, have partnered together and are working together. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. How you feel about AIT and Inspect? If you guys, if you have been looking at it, Jay, um, I like this partnership actually because I'm like you know I'm really big on Inspect. And I've been seeing a lot about AIT protocol, so I'm, I'm, it's pr looking pretty good, pretty interesting what's going on. Facts, 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 facts. Uh, right now, Inspect is just at 21 cents at a $42 million market cap. It's not looking too bad, guys. I'm telling you, as more development starts to come for these guys, I told you guys, they got that Tau subnet. They're going to be working on the decks that they're going to have directly on X. And I believe that is going to make it inspect extremely bullish we'll see though um we'll come back to this video or stream or maybe like a month or two from here and see where inspect is at right yeah if they're able to get that if they're able to pull that off and have the decks just kind of on the side like right under where the spaces show up or something like that oh yeah this thing is gonna oh be yeah inspect, yeah so. you know some people actually when you go on like let's lay let's look on alex becker profile see if it pops up for alex becker no for some reason it doesn't pop up for alex becker but on certain people's like um certain people's like website uh twitter account the inspect the inspect thing button just pops up right here where you're able to click it i think it's more so like tokens i should say right more so tokens i should say so they don't even have it on their own uh come on now i see tau yeah we're seeing some of those new features rolling out so that's, there you go right there there it goes yeah see you click that you get some information if they're able to do that same exact thing for the decks like just clicking this and you're able to trade it right here that's a game changer in my opinion for we sure. have not seen anything like inspect just yet so this is also making me very bullish on inspect so we'll have to see though let's let's see you can actually even vote from here yeah this is crazy yeah so you can vote what, what's earned you can earn from there what the? yeah they have the they have the um the Oh, the Zilli. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, they have different things. Inspect is looking pretty good, man, with the utility. Also, here for Alex Becker here, the next two to three months is going to be the best time for IDOs and new coins released ever in gaming and AI. This is what he says, right? And he thinks these three, these bottom ones are going to do it three to 10x, right, when they come out on the market. So, that's going to be pretty huge. Blood Loop here very soon. If you guys don't know, Games GG is the next platform that Pokestart is putting out. We almost got into the private cell of this. is a whole bunch of jargon. I'm kind of kind of jelly. We're not fully in it, but hopefully hopefully we can get back in it. Chrono Forge, we got in this. Pixel Mind, very good, right? My Pet Hooligan has been getting a lot of talks. As you guys know, they have gotten on to um, LEO Trades uh, Super, Superverse. So they're going to be one of the flagship games on there. You got Gamium here or gay gay me gay medium or whatever you guys want to call it i don't care um it's going to be a layer one infrastructure we're going to talk about that because they're doing an airdrop are you participating in this little airdrop um jay uh yeah i started doing that one the block and the gaming and yeah and, yeah uh, you know you got x borg here also getting a lot of more traction rumble con mochaverse and some upcoming games Godzilla, we've been told you about this one this is going to be a big one treeverse and then some ai slash deep in place skillful ai gpu net uh dop a lot of people in my group has been talking about that nuke ai so and it's uh launch pads he says cedify bytes citus we just talked about citus right and paid so a lot of things is looking pretty interesting this is, seems like his list as he's very bullish on as of right now right this leads to well get that out the way what he exactly just tweeted looks like uh game game men game men mm -hmm. has just gotten on to citizens capital right so this is going to be a good place to also get it if you guys can we got into the private cell of it but i'm still farming this bad boy as you can see here because this man here whoever this guy is tfg 
has just farmed about over a million elo which is going to he gets to convert that to to the token of course right so this is pretty huge people are really starting to farm these tokens as of right now three i got for you is gmrx that's the gamium token you got the parm labs you got block of course these are social engagement um like you know farming tactics started by portal portal just started a whole new wave essentially for these gaming projects or whatever projects want to do a airdrop you can farm them on social media that's pretty interesting as of right now man and jay you say you've been in there right yeah man mm -hmm. right now i'm like i'm not looking too bad i got about 2500 i should i should be getting more though that's all right we got about a day left for this season right about two days about two days right all the way up to actually a day left yeah because i didn't refresh this yet so a day left and then you also got parm here where you guys can log into and then block is as well we made a video on all of them actually you got the links right in the description if you guys need a referral to get into any of these platforms as of right now so also dimension is doing some airdrops if you guys have been paying attention i've already told you the first one that did an airdrop which is nim network right there you doing ai agents with gaming and all of that so that is looking pretty good i didn't get anything it seems like i skate state too late as they had their little snapshot taken for the nim network that was on the fourth i think we started to stake around the 12th i think so when did you did you participate in this as well jay yeah i got that one i staked as soon as the airdrop came so oh see i was being um, greedy yeah that's why i always tell people man when you get them <laughs> airdrops go ahead and, and stake a good 20 30 40 percent of it you know yeah, yeah that's fair because they whatever, they actually rewarded everybody they yeah. actually rewarded everybody no matter how much you stake for the dimension they actually rewarded everybody as you guys already know i've been telling you guys um i do believe that uh staking about 35 of them was going to be safe but for nim they pretty much just rewarded everybody so 35 right now would be well actually 35 this is the min i said min is 35 that's 214 dollars but yeah i wouldn't honestly I think the higher you go, the better. A hundred of dimension would be perfect, which is just six hundred and thirteen dollars. And these airdrops is probably going to be pretty sizable, right? And as you guys, this way, the NIM the NIM airdrop was one to one. So if you staked one, you get in one NIM. If you staked a hundred, you get in a hundred NIM. So that's that's easy said, right? Yeah. And they also got a meme coin on the rollout. But what the heck, I what's up with everybody in these meme coins but anyways at least it's an airdrop right so this is the dogmon coin that's going to be doing an airdrop on dimension aig which is going to be a roll-up chain focused for security and then my next favorite one is riz you know they're trying to riz all you guys up you guys know how it works right the ai driven d pin roll app this is also coming on to ai driven d pin roll app sounds like you just try to hit every narrative on the way out pretty much but the thing <laughs> is they not just they not just feeding the dimension stakers they also feed in the tia stakers so if you're a smart person you may stake some dimension and tia and get yourself some rivals right double up that's pretty much what we got to do right now double up right get yourself more of this token I, i'm pretty bullish on this one i'm going to make a video just like i did for nim network right and not that where's that tweet where's the tweet after this because um, if you guys don't know, where did it go? Oh, damn. I think I lost it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, so far, 7,000 DIM has also been burned for the Dimension ecosystem. Imagine when rollups fully go live, how much DIM could actually be burned. Decreasing this supply, which is already capped at a billion, a billion supply, a billion max supply right now, right? So dimension, I've been telling you, I can see this around a fifty, a fifty to eighty billion dollar market cap, while I see Tia around a hundred billion dollar market cap. So this is just my opinion. How you feel about dimension, though, um, Jay? I like it. I'm, I mean, I sold, I sold about half of my airdrop, but I'm just gonna hold the rest. Um, it's in the right narrative. You know, there's, it's gonna have a lot of competition. All, I think all these modular like all the pieces of it is going to have a lot of competition because there's so much there's so many moving pieces and so many different tokens but i like dimension yeah yeah I, I like dimension i got like i said i got a little too greedy in the beginning i sold i sold all of it honestly i should have 
taken what I got and then just staked it because that's what a lot of people have been saying. But I was getting a little too greedy, of course. Um, now it's coming to bite me because I, I was actually pretty excited for NIM Network. Now I don't got no NIM Network for free. So I'm not going to buy no NIM Network because I could have gotten it for free. That's pretty much what I'm just saying. Right. But let me look at some of these comments here. Uh, let me look at some of these comments here. What's going on? Comments? Uh, da, 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 ready? Room. Okay. Price prediction on Gamium. I don't have a price prediction on Gamium just yet. We I'm gonna wait till it comes out. It comes out next week. We're gonna figure out exactly my price prediction at some point in time during next week or the week after. Because I know this is gonna be pushed by some of the biggest coals in this space as of right now. You already saw what um Alex Becker said. Yeah, so exactly. he's gonna pump out bags pretty much, and we're pretty excited right now. And Elio I'm, too, so yeah, I'm pretty bullish on it itself. I'm pretty bullish on Gamium. I've been telling you guys, it's creating a layer two, partnered up with BNB and Movement Labs. You know how bullish that is right now for me. So I'm very bullish on Gamium here. Uh, check out props. We are we, gonna look into props because we 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 get into the RWA sec section right now. Uh, thanks for all you do, man. You're giving me a chance to change my life. Damn, that's a cool. I love that comment, bro. Hey, I'm trying to change everyone. Well. That's the goal, as man. Many that's if, lives if as I you can. on YouTube, hope, if you on YouTube making these videos, hopefully that's the goal. Facts, facts, facts. I'm also changing my life as well, you know. Exactly. Uh, Lunar Classic. Let's not talk about Lunar Classic, my boy. <laughs> Big upgrade. What? <laughs> well, <we'll> upgrade. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. Why are we even talking about Lunar Classic? <laughs> Am I allowed to show a little project we just launched a week ago? What project is that? Tell them, talk to me. Then you have the yeah we did we we definitely did we definitely did they have a new game and partnered with imaginary ones that's pretty huge it's pretty huge it's supposed to be like a pokemon go a uh, pokemon go style game mm. Mm. you're staking some cdx and entangle on this little dip yo entangle looking pretty good I'm not gonna lie entangle looking pretty good tangle just had an investment from consensus super bullish mm -hmm. Let's pull up Entangle real quick. I was about to say, let me pull up Entangle real quick. <laughs> the thing is, yo, what's crazy? We had the opportunity to get into this sale like during a bear market, and a lot of people skipped, so we had to skip over this overall. But I was pretty bullish on this. I've even made a call for my guys that I'm actually buying it on the market. I bought it like a 190 something. So it, we're not really up too much, but this is a pretty good play in my opinion as of right now at $45 million market cap. Of course, you guys do see that fully diluted valuation of $2 billion. I've already taught you guys how to look into that. Check out the vesting schedule and everything for that. If you guys want to play this as of right now, just, you know, had to put that out there again. Just yeah. a day ago, it hit about $2.82. This, this thing actually moves a lot within the day. If Bitcoin does not muck up anything, it actually is moving up pretty good right so this probably should have been at like four dollars by now but bitcoin is just it's pmsing right now all right you know no shame to the girls out there sorry <laughs> uh but what else we got here smt yeah, we're gonna token, cover we, we talk about that schedule that token release schedule on entangle is probably harsh yeah yeah maybe i should pull that up real quick yeah let's pull that up i'm looking only 21 million and they got a billion when are they when are they gonna be able to die? Uh, I stopped paying attention at the vesting schedule when I was not in the private cell. But in in April, in April, twenty one days, days, April twelfth. You're gonna have a big, a big, big unlock. Eighty six percent. Eighty six percent? Yeah. Ooh, how many tokens is that? Thirty nine. That's about eighteen point seventy eight million tokens yeah, so 1.8 percent they're gonna, they're gonna double the of the supply. total supply so the market cap is about to go crazy it's about to the price is going to probably stay around the same but the market cap is definitely going to go like you know it's going to be up 86 percent right yeah. so maybe after that maybe maybe in a month you could decide to look back into it to buy in not financial advice just to see if it dips or not but mm -hmm. that's a pretty big unlock right there and you can see where is it at seed that's round probably not that's probably not the only one too yeah nah seed round you got doesn't start till july right private round one also doesn't start start to like june so there's some time for this one there's some time private sell investors no this is public public doesn't start oh this is actually pretty good that they had a cliff on public i love that mm -hmm. i honestly love that so 
there's some big unlocks coming right about five rounds total um back in april so we're gonna see what's gonna happen there for gamium well, not gamium sorry and tango peak announced an upcoming public launch pad sell oh uh, yeah i'm already in a private cell so i'm really not looking too much into what they're doing publicly uh q1 or q2 i don't know i don't know if they will have more public uh private rounds hmm. yes lcx is definitely a great play yeah, definitely like definitely LCX. a great play um you guys know i've been covering a lot of lcx too on the channel uh bro eth might get yeah. attacked by the sec the whole crypto market has gotten attacked by the sec they ETH is definitely getting attacked by the sec right now yeah but they don't care and we don't care yeah we don't unless unless ETH lose then that's bad news but i doubt they'll lose <laughs> uh can you look at bondex sell going on on coinless I, I think we had it yo 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 ea bring zo up oh zo you in here it was good zo man and we got zo in here now too yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. zo we talking about some rwas man Hey, I'm here to learn today. You know, I've been I've been getting into the RWAs, but I'm not as well versed as you guys. So <laughs> I'm here to be here to be a student as well, man. Nah, you got the alpha too. My wife says to send you a middle finger emoji after you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, super wife. Got wifey mad, man. Uh thoughts on roost on base. Right now, I haven't looked at if that's a meme. I don't know nothing about the meme on base. I told you guys my play on base. It's arrow. Arrow. then we're gonna also have mavia that's on base there's uh, some other altcoins that moved on to base as well oh proppy as well proppy mm. proppy has also gone on to base that's gonna be one of my rwa plays and i got i'm not gonna lie i got a hot take i got a hot take on proppy we're gonna cover that when i get there hot take all righty wait zo zo introduce yourself you just you just came in introduce yourself what's up Oh man, I was just chilling. I'm in here still getting some other stuff together. But hey, it's crypto, so you know, just uh found EA and everything in the space and two great guys to be, you know, listening to and learning from. And so, you know, I got my own little channel, but it's just good to see other people in the space that's really trying to help people out. So, you know, I always hang with these guys. Man, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Time for the RWA talks, man. Time for the RWA talks. I'm going to be asking you too, Zoe. You say you don't know too much about RWAs, but I know you got some hidden gems out there that you may want to give us. We beg, right? Jay, you too. We, we're going to need some RWA, please. But right now, RWAs is sitting at a $5.6 billion market cap in total, right? Odino has pumped like crazy. We've been talking about this. You well, you guys have been talking about this. You guys put this more on my map right now. Then you got Mantra. I just Jay, you saw my tweet. I didn't even know Mantra mm -hmm. was still alive. Me neither. I was I was big on Mantra, but I'm glad to see that they that they doing their thing. <laughs> we we gonna we're gonna talk about what why they're going crazy though, because I guess they just injected a lot of money into their ecosystem for RWAs. Centrifuge is also up here, close to that dollar mark, up 38% poly mesh is now up here as well wait did mantra mantra flip centra what the heck is going yeah. on yeah <laughs> oh that's wild oh, yeah, that's nah, nah. crazy <laughs> but like shout out to my mantra Dow homies <laughs> yo that's crazy bro that's crazy lcx is up here uh goldfinch maple token fi my baby proppy i love proppy bro i've been telling y'all about proppy for so long on the channel we're gonna cover that we're gonna cover it we're gonna cover it but let's look at the top gainers in the seven days etherland up 216 percent the centralized etf well i don't know why is this over here up 128 percent we coin i know a lot of you guys like we coin is now up 79 percent on the week at a two million dollar market cap prop base you guys been talking about this and asking for this i actually i got some good news for leo x too i knew some from the insider when i and I was very much so interested in them. So I'm actually excited that these guys are pumping up at a $25 million market cap right now. Also, Labs, this is back, back up here as well. Relio. Oh, Labs is Relio. up there. Let's go, Labs. All right. So that's so let's look at prop base before we even ask Jay for his first RWA. So prop base has been running up lately. It's been doing decent. 
out of one cent from one cent to about seven cents that's a pretty good move right now probably if it wasn't on aptos i think it probably would have went even crazier it's probably because most people don't even know how to use aptos just yet so that's probably hindering it a little bit but you guys know anything about prop, uh prop base i don't not at all yeah well it's one of these that a lot of the influencers on twitter especially do like when it comes down to rwas well, you can see from all the influencers what they're talking about i really haven't looked too much into it but it does look like it could be a decent play on the aptos ecosystem if you're into aptos you can just look at prop base right now so this is one that i'm not really too interested in but it does look good though so jay give me give me give me give me some rwas you looking at man give me some rwas you looking at uh let's see so there's a couple of them that i i really like one of them um Let's see, I got a couple right. The first one is we talked about it before in the LSPs, but it's also in RWAs is Revest Finance. Revest? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you, I think you talk, talked about this a while ago. Yeah, and they just had a partnership with some of your favorites. So they partnered with Pendle. I know you like Pendle. Um, but what it's allowing it to do is like these RWA um, infrastructures can plug into RVST and utilize um their infrastructure, which allows some of these people to get like upfront yield on their RWA assets. So <clears throat> I think once once RWA start popping off even more, this is something that institutions will go crazy for. So this had came out back two years ago and it hit its all time high about four months ago. So right now it's only down 51%, which is pretty good, right? And I mm -hmm. see the tokenomics. This actually looks very good right now. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of you guys have been talking about it. You, I think Super as well has been talking about this one um, as a decent play for RWAs. And I think you you told us there was some big, like, there was some, like, rumors that they had a good partnership or something. Yeah, they had some, I think they had, right. like, I think, I think some of those partnerships got announced, but they had just some pretty big partnerships. And they've been on, they've been, like, uh, releasing more partnerships too, like Resonate, um, like yeah they doing the thing man for real mm -hmm. so before we get into your next pick before we even get to jay uh to zo zo you do you have the rwa play for us though man you know i just i was just gonna talk about ando and some uh some some news i had on that but all right you know, I'm, I'm listening today man now nah, we, we're gonna get to <laughs> you hey, no no let us know let, hey not no lies though let me know what's going on with ando man because i see the hype i see the dollars pouring into it like give us the rundown on ando because i don't know about it yeah. might as well so go ahead go ahead talk to us I'll it's at a billion dollar ahead. market cap right now what are y'all cool, about to say something now coming after oh all right you want me? all right i go i go before i go continue because basically pretty much what's going on with the rwa space what has a lot of people speculating is a lot to do with blackrock right of course you guys mm -hmm. can actually see the tweet right now congratulations to blackrock and secret uh secretize whatever this thing is right they're doing something for rwas but not only that blackrock is taking a full in-depth look into crypto of course they felt like you know they feel bad of course you guys can go ahead and look at this this whole tweet here right don't mind me just checking in on the reported blackrock wallet on chain so people already are looking at what blackrock is doing they have a hundred million dollars sitting in their wallet now, I do believe that there's going to be something big that BlackRock is going to do. They're going to probably buy a bunch of like def, uh, different cryptos, right? And I do have one that I believe that they're going to buy at, in droves. But we're going to get to that when I talk about it, of course. And RWAs as a whole, the narrative, the search term is just, just going up right now. It's just going up. So more people are pretty much interested in, of course, Crypto Banter recently put out their like RWA projects by market cap and they highlighted a few different RWA plays that people are really interested in as of right now. Some you can see Revest up here. You can see Entangle up here, LCX. Um, what else you got up here? Clearpool, I, what, IX Swap, Landex. There's a bunch of RWAs from Leo X2, Prop Base. So they, they put basically a lot more people's eyes onto the rwa sector and i've been telling you guys that more people are going to come now and shift over to rwas especially knowing that blackrock is in this space waiting to invest in something and they're potentially going to be targeting rwas as you guys already know larry fink is a spokesperson for tokenization so the first altcoins he's going to probably target is a few 
RWA plays. That's why I'm very bullish onto RWA. Now, Zo, you could tell us about Odino because Larry Fink may be buying Odino in the future. So let, give us some alpha. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not even really alpha. It's just funny that um, you know, I have been. I remember when it first when it first dropped. I was talking to my my um, my guys about it on my live and stuff, and just saying how I was going to bring, you know, a lot of the big money in. A lot of people who don't believe in crypto. And it's funny. So um, when I first got into crypto, I was uh, it was with uh, one of my bosses. I was training the kids in sports and soccer and basketball. And they said, you know, you heard this thing called Bitcoin. It's like 2016. And I was like, no, I haven't heard about it. Told me about it. You know, bought some or whatever. Um, but then the second cycle was one of my other mentors. Everybody was talking about XRP and the the, the uh, you know it's going to be with the banks and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, let me see what this one about or whatever. But anyway, I was talking to them um, earlier this week or whatever, and exactly what I said was going to happen, happened. And so they started hearing about Blackwater with Ando and stuff. And um, I think they got some partnerships with like Golden Goldman Sachs and Millennium and stuff. And just sure enough, because he's like 64 himself. And he has said that all his friends had heard about it. And then they were, you know, thinking more about getting this Bitcoin. Of course, they're not in the market like we are, but they were saying, yeah, we're just trying to see what it's going to do because, like, you know, this is general information. They're like, you know, Bitcoin was there like in the 60,000s or whatever, and they think it's pretty much over, but they said they're just waiting to see what's happened, what's going to happen. So this is just a first person account of showing how retail investors are thinking. So, like I said, when I said this a couple of times, when Bitcoin starts crossing 70,000, 80,000, and more of this news gets out about what BlackRock is doing. And like I said, they, um, Ando is even connected to Bridgewater. And, you know, uh, excuse me, Ray, which Ray Dalio founded. So when all this big money starts finding out about it, it's going to be a lot of money flowing into the space. It's nothing new that I haven't said it before, but just hit, having that one-on-one -on -one personal contact with somebody who's saying exactly what I was saying, like, oh, yeah, I heard about that. And did you know BlackRock? I'm like, wow, they know about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's gonna be a crazy cycle man it's gonna be a lot of new money coming in facts, facts. um for rwas a lot of people may not like be too well versed on rwas but for this sector just follow where the money is going to right it, that's just plain and simple as easy as it can get you can just look where the money is going from pantera to coinbase where they're looking at it's going to be some hype going behind it as well i do believe that some of the rwa plays that coinbase do art uh do invest into probably do get onto their um to their uh coinbase app as well so i see mm -hmm. some of the comments here smt is on base as well i actually didn't even know smt was on base but this is even more bullish for my scenario as you guys already know i've been telling you guys base i'm very bullish on base right and mm -hmm. i've told you guys a while back i'm very bullish on smt as well so this is this is just looking very good for me in my opinion bondex here um alliance block leo x smt maple finance clear pool are some awesome rwa plays i do like maple finance and i do like clear pool as well so i can agree with that check um your ai as well i don't know okay we'll we'll look at bondex and all of that in just a second uh soul pocket not really that sounds like a meme to me fellas so smt will be the biggest winner of all rwas I don't think uh eh, it may mm. it's gonna be one of my two it's gonna be one of my two it's gonna the be one swarm, of my two. swarm markets yeah if you don't know they're See, tokenizing I didn't know how to feel about them i didn't even you mm. oh oh yeah 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 let's run through swarm markets real quick because i think oh uh, i have another one on that. swarm it. markets essentially just tokenizing stocks and bringing them on chain mm -hmm. so this is something i've 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 told people why I'm extremely bullish on um, Swarm Markets, right? And we've talked about it. I made a whole stream dedicated to Swarm Markets and like two other altcoins I was very interested in. But when you go onto their website, they're essentially just bringing these uh, securities on chain, really, right? The gold standard for blockchain-based finance. As more of these stocks come on chain, I believe this is going to be a very huge, like, a very huge spot for them. And I think they're also backed by, who, where was it at? I forgot where it was, who was they backed by, back by that was huge for them as well. But... This is not something I had written down right now, but right now, if you go into their platform, you can buy BlackRock on chain. If you guys don't know why this is bullish is because if you're buying stocks on like Robinhood or anything like that, you guys might have experienced this the last cycle, right? Where Robinhood blocked you out of that, the platform where you couldn't trade like, what was it? Dogecoin at one point in time, um, mm -hmm. GameStop, yeah, yeah, GameStop, they blocked you guys from trading it because 
they saw how much they was losing and their friends of course was losing a lot of money because you guys know what was going on people was fighting like the what was that the venture capitalists on wall street and everything like that it was just like the community versus wall street essentially when it came down yeah. to uh, um gamestop what was the other what was one of the stores that was about to close the beauty store I don't know if y'all remember. Right. The beauty store? I didn't hear I about the beauty yeah, store. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it was a beauty Bed, store? Bed, Bed I, Bath & Beyond. There it go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember, I remember. So people were trading that, essentially, and then you'll get locked out of your Robinhood account. What Swarm Markets does right now is bring these tokens or these securities or, you know, stocks on chain where you own them. You can sell them whenever you want, do whatever you want. This is all going to be on your wallet. This is why a lot more people are starting to get more bullish on swarm markets. And as the time goes on and as more stocks they get onto their platform, it's going to be very bullish for these guys. Very, very, very bullish. That's just my opinion, though. I want to know what you guys think. Did their website always look? I don't remember the website looking like this. Nah, the website's been like this for a minute for me. Really? Um, yeah. Maybe I didn't look. And I do see that their TVL is actually growing as well. So a lot of things is looking pretty good for these guys. I haven't. It looks better than I remember. I will say that. I'm, I'm very bullish on these guys very bullish i've put oh, they also partnered with meld here i see some more big people are these guys also put them up here we we're going to talk about these because this is a another reason why they saying rwa is set to dominate the market blackrock and coinbase right mm -hmm. and you can see there's a lot and they're, they're burning some tokens too so this is also very bullish for their tokenomics as well that's just my opinion though I'm gonna just continue to wait to them for them to get to their all-time high, which they're only down 39% from, guys. Only down 39%. So if you at least paid attention when I was talking about it, um, at like about 20 20 something cents, right? Around this time here, you would have been pretty, you would have been pretty up, pretty up. Not not from here, because I honestly I should have bought it here. I had it on my Hail Mary list for a while when it was down here. I was planning on moving it up earlier, but I was like, you know what? I'm just wait a little bit. Then it just started to go up a little bit more. And then I eventually got in around the 20 something cents. So I'm pretty bullish on these. Pretty bullish. Um, let me look at some more of the comments. SMT at 14 cents, pretty good. XDC is part is one of the few blockchains that are partnered with the Securitize, the same one that you mentioned, the black oh. I didn't know about that. Goldfinch, nice, nice. SMT equals Black Rock. Yeah, Zenfin yeah, yeah. Zen Zen don't get enough. Uh, Zenfin don't get enough credit. Uh, yeah, bullish on Zenfin. That um, I don't really hold any, but like the token is just it does what it does. You know what I mean? Like it's it was one of the main content, like one of the main ones in there with that whole ISO twenty twenty thing. You know, like it's it's all over that documentation, and then now in the RWA sector, like I seriously asking myself right now like how come i don't have any <laughs> maybe i should ask myself that same question because right now i'm not asking myself that myself that at, at all right now but we'll have to see maybe in like a week or two so so you got uh, not Zoe. jay you got another altcoin for us before we move on um my second favorite not favorite but like my second rwa play that i'm into right now is uh ixy swap is swap ix swap I right, swap. I see. I said, yeah. I see a lot of people are bullish on this. Go ahead. What's what's up? Yeah, man. For one, it's like okay, it's they're partnered with everybody <laughs> in the in the RWA space. Uh, you got Token Builder, um, Unlocked. It's like they're just partnered with a bunch of platforms. But um, you know, for those who don't know, it's a tokenization like Launchpad, and it's a Dex. So. And some of the some of the other interesting things that like is being tokenized and being used like by this infrastructure is like it's bigger than just real estate or other things like natural resources, medical uh, uh, data and stuff like that. Like all these type of things are definitely things like I'm bullish on and the market like sleeps on them, you know, and it's like sometimes you see those those projects where like, how did this get to a billion dollar market cap? Well, it's, it's for the institutions and all that stuff. So. It's just a lot going on. They got private equity tokenization, um, natural resource tokenization, private debt tokenization. So it's just, yeah. And then, of course, then you got to see who's using it. And then you go and you look at the partnerships and it's like, oh, pretty much every damn body. <laughs> Where's their partners? Go to, uh, hold on, where are you looking at? Oh, right here, right here. Partners and stakeholders. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, and then you got to really go to like their blog. And if like, cause I was scrolling through their blog right now 
and you can just see like everybody who's like using or integrated and uh it's a lot of people in there am i blind i can't see the blog oh okay i i, I can see it but i do see that super oracles if you guys don't know i'm very bullish on super oracles man can't wait for this bad boy to come out can't wait for that bad boy to come out but ix swap oh, yeah. does look good it does look good what you think Zoe? um ix it's my first time hearing about it like i said i'm really trying to dig more into this sector like the only ones i really had on my my radar were ondo and uh i think somebody said in the comments too was goldfinch goldfinch um, yeah i do like mm -hmm. goldfinch as well yeah. these now, other ones I, i've seen them but i haven't looked deep into some of these other ones yeah for mantra dow it seems like they're coming back onto the radar here they recently just raised 11 million dollars right where some people here uh, not notable names but 11 million dollars this late in the game for them is actually mm -hmm. pretty interesting right i see from the tweet that they have right they raised 11 million dollars essentially tackling different challenges from like liquid liquidity fragmentation and cross-chain interoperability they're also introducing a dex right for tokenized assets it's looking pretty interesting for these guys but the fact that they ran up so much i'm not paying attention to these guys no more I'm yeah sorry. they had an airdrop i think they had an airdrop too that was probably one of the reasons that got them on the thing but you're you shouldn't even like montreal ea because you don't like rebrands now nah, but they, they, went, the same. they did i don't know bro they, when they, i first was on my like they switched the whole damn thing up to mantra chain it was just mantra dow before yeah, and they, they had nothing they had nothing to do with rwas it was all about DeFi and the DeFi thing you know what I'm saying? you're so not wrong you're not wrong you're not wrong i was I, big on them I, I made a lot of money on them you know i did i think at least a, uh it was like a 50x on mantra dow but you're not wrong I, I did like them last cycle i didn't like what you know on the whole uh, bear market i didn't think they was gonna come back around but it looks yeah. like they have been doing a lot of things and they're tackling one of my favorite sectors i just you know but the run-up already has been crazy from September, one cent. You could have got it at one cent in September of 2023, right? Of course, most of us probably wasn't even looking at Mantra then because <laughs> <laughs> if he was around last cycle, you was like, huh, okay, what the heck? But then yeah. let's, let's say, let's get, let's get closer. Let's get closer to December. It's at three cents. It's okay. Maybe at three cents. I think, I don't even know when they changed their jargon, but from three cent here to about a high of... Wait, wait, could I get it? About 83 cents? That's crazy. Man. Yeah, That's honestly crazy. Just off actually, of a rebrand? And it doesn't, it's not just a rebrand because they actually got eleven million dollars just injected into their to whatever they're yeah. doing. So uh I am I'm, I'm gonna keep it off my radar because I'm I'm a little sick. <laughs> I'm gonna keep now, it off my radar. I'm a little yeah, sick right. now where I'm seeing I'm that it was that before. This thing did like damn near 50x more than a 50x honestly and it still probably has some room to run right it's all-time high oh it actually even broke its all-time high mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> it's never crazy. been i don't think it's ever been at like a, a 400 500 million dollar market cap yeah well, i guess it got up to, for this token oh what was the market cap when back then oh okay so it wasn't even high its market cap back then was about about 200 million so it already all it already doubled this all all time high in terms of market cap. So that's if you got in this, congrats, man. I'm jelly. But right now, Layer GG has talked a little bit more about why RWA is here. You can see when well, let's scroll down because I want to point out what we was talking, what I was essentially talking about. Where is it at? Where where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here you go. So recently, BlackRock launched the BlackRock USD Institutional Digital Liquidity Fund, right? This is also in partnership with Coinbase. You guys already see why I'm very bullish on Coinbase. Anything that has to do with Coinbase, right? I buy the stock. I'm, I'm up extremely on the stock on the option calls. I've even told you guys on stream multiple times, right? Coinbase will outperform Bitcoin. And they're also doing a lot of things for the blackrock and other like etfs that they're actually managing for their for their platform this is going to be huge and that is extremely like bullish but i'm also 
very bullish on base what they're bringing on over their base you guys already seen property has come over the base in terms of rwas and you guys told me smt is now there you also got a bunch of gaming projects on our on base but not only that there's going to be some upcoming rwas that we should even talk about here snow seed snow seed looks like a pretty decent rwa play when it comes down to nft crowdfunding for real world assets right now they raised about five million dollars in march here and then another one that's actually looking pretty good as well is hydra protocol this also is another rwa play that should be coming out very soon here they got investors from injective moon hill capital those are probably the only ones i really know paka as well you guys know about these two yet oh and quant stamp yeah i know about the only one i knew about right there was quant stamp i i meant like hydro and um oh yeah okay no yeah. no seed i didn't hear yeah, about those no. nah not yet yeah uh, well, these are new right videos. there yeah yeah, in the, yeah and then another two that we have right now is panamo panamo is looking pretty good right now these guys all right this guy gator green actually put out a very good tweet right now right we saw what consensus and blackrock links did for rwa projects like centrifuge yesterday right but let me tell you which projects actually pitched their rwa solutions to consensus and blackrock just weeks ago this is a very good tweet go follow pretty much all of these um rwa plays here right ix swap here that's one of jay's picks here right and you got token solution here as well lender protocol but what i want to talk about is panamo network panamo protocol i said network but protocol itself this is tokenizing energy essentially right but you're tokenizing storage batteries this is also into like the d pin and rwa play i've been covered these guys right soon as they announced these guys was going on to peak i was extremely bullish and you guys know i'm very bullish on peak now panamo connects rwas and deep pin so if you guys got the opportunity to get into panamo i would say find a way to get into this bad boy because this is going to be a good long-term play right a good 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 long-term play and then where was this one here and then the other one is just plume network which is going to be the next l2 on on celestia using celestia for data availability they actually do have a huge ecosystem as of right now um it looks like mantra is also in their ecosystem um and where's Wico? we set we set recently got onto their ecosystem land share so they're building out their l2 as of right now you even got an ix swap here as well and it's looking pretty good i actually can't wait for this one to come out have you guys um seen plume yet yeah i've seen it around but i haven't dug deep into it because i think it was that one and the other one you talked about earlier that i still didn't look into was proppy but i've heard of them but i, I just oh, I yeah. gotta start looking into these man the plume ecosystem looks crazy though <laughs> i ain't gonna lie this 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 one looks like a hitter I'm like every rwa I, I like is on that list i bet they buy some proppy and the way people are tracking proppy right now because you, you guys don't know proppy actually recently had a twitter space with kathy woods and some actually notable names recently so that actually started to pump proppy a lot more we're not, we're not gonna talk about relio just yet but it started to pump proppy i even made it um not a call but i posted in the discord i said yo proppy might pump just a little bit and it was just at like 70 something cents when i posted it right and of course it pumped all the way up to about a dollar and 40 cents and if you guys know on this channel i'm extremely bullish on property i've told you guys from a while back i do think that property and you know i had to had to put the title the way it is that it could replace zillow but i'm calling it the web 3 of zillow essentially and at this point in time when i first started talking about it it was at 32 cents and a lot of people um probably didn't like property at the time because it's an older 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 whole coin in this mm -hmm. space right yeah. back six years ago you see it from 2018 the organization yeah. yeah it was one of the first rwa plays that people don't even remember i remember there's another one that was competing with it it was like a bumble coin or something i forgot the name of it but it had to do with um hotels and everything like that hospitality but this is the one that actually stayed around for the longest and i know a lot of people didn't like it especially the fact that mm, it's fully like a circulating supply should be a lot higher than where it's at right now from it being around from 20 
2018 2017 but i'm still very bullish on this thing as of right now and it's only down 77 percent from his all-time high and i do believe is it actually cracks his all-time high very soon um especially if blackrock does buy some property it's going to be very huge and remember i told you guys here first right let's look at that tweet one more time where's the tweet i'm telling you guys prop um blackrock will buy some property this is going to be a huge one they they are the only marketplace right now the only the only rwa marketplace that actually has homes sold on it right if you guys don't remember true, back true i think it was like 2021 maybe 2022 they had sold a home and it made like headline news because it sold like for 400 some thousand dollars but it was the first home sold on chain right as an nft so these guys we go way back because they they follow me too they know why uh they they <laughs> I mean where where they at man where they at property so you so property was even before real t because real t is the other one they just do it yeah real no no i think real t was around then too yeah. but they're but real t fell off and there was another one that also had some homes i forget its name i forgot his name though they had some homes but it's terrible and they also end up they went from being a crypto project to try to doing a kickstarter and they failed i forget the name though okay i honestly forget the name if it's is that the one that was hanging around two million market cap for a long time i think a lot of yeah and a lot of people were Everybody talking about was trying it. to shill it yeah yeah I forget the name of it. Oh, God, I drew a blank too. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> it's because it actually had it actually tried to do a Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, honest. That's what turned me off to RWA. Yeah, that project. Cause I was like, man, this is, this is not. Yeah, uh, they they failed horribly, bro. But property is the only one. When it comes down to real estate, when it comes down to you know being able to sell homes, these are the only one that are actually having a working marketplace as of right now. I, don't, I think you got to like sign up to be able to even look at it. So. They actually have a lot going for them. I'm very excited. Um, the fact that they even was in talks with um, Kathy Wood. If Kathy Wood could buy some property, I'm telling you, man, I'm going to be a rich man. That would be I'm crazy. Be rich man. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me get another play for you, Zoe. Come, tell me another play. Man, I'm t I, I'm not into RWA, man. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I'm, <laughs> like I said, the only I had was Ando and Goldfinch. The rest of them, like I said, I can't even think of the play. I don't know if everything Currency just said it, but it was just some play and it was one of the first ones i saw that was really talking about um you know rwa and i was just like no nah, i don't think it's gonna be i think the way they presented it it just made the whole sector look bad to me so but i've been saying i'm gonna really get into rwa and start trying to dig and find some stuff i, I saw a lot of people talking about why they didn't like rwas is because it's such a uh, a speculative field or the sec is going to tackle uh target it heavily none of these projects got working products all of that i saw i saw all of that the talks for mm -hmm. a minute while i'm extremely bullish on rwas i was just letting everybody talk and i'm happy now more people are starting to look into it right the sec does not stop anyone from speculating in this space you guys should already know that right yeah and that's what i said like i said i tell people all the time you gotta admit when you're wrong and i was really i was definitely sleeping on rwa for real i was just like and I ain't trying to get in and now I'm just like man let me find some good ones but like you said most of them have ran already and it's like ah so we're gonna yeah. see but property does look nice for even where is that even now so RWAs is one of the RWAs and AI are pretty much the real only two sector where traditional markets intertwine with crypto markets and I keep saying it because the crypto the crypto markets if you're able to have anything from the traditional side right that is big for the crypto side so if larry fink is going to be talking about tokenization and all of that mm -hmm. imagine what that does for the crypto bros into this space you know and tokenization yeah, is a yeah tokenization is a is a, a topic that we've been talking about since i got into crypto but being that they labeled it rwas and put this new spin on the narrative like it's waking everybody up because like literally we've been talking about tokenizing stocks since i've been i mean we was trading tokenized stocks on anchor in the in the you know when luna classic was was still around shout out to luna classic homie who was watching <laughs> but uh we we was trading um you know uh tesla on, on chain but that's that's the big deal with rwa like that's a big deal with crypto so that's why i said like with um the other play i called out like tokenizing other things tokenizing anything in the real world and putting it on chain is just crazy you know, like that's that's the kind of the big killer use case for for NFTs and crypto in general. 
I agree with that. Right the coin perspective. What you look at? Yeah, because the guy asked a price prediction for SMT. If you look at SMT, it, it doesn't take a lot for it to get up to a billion dollar market cap. All it, all you have to do is a lot of inflow. People start using their platform. This is going to pump to a billion dollars easily, in my opinion, though. From where you at, it's at a $39 million market cap, right? Of course, some people may not think this is possible, but I do believe it's possible for swarm markets. We just got to see, though. No, I, I, I also even, even coming from the person possible. who wasn't bullish on it before you i think you're definitely right especially with all this like you said going on with larry fink and blackrock i mm -hmm. think you definitely can get up there yeah and jay you was here when i when we showed the tweet where elio finally said oh yeah i'm walking back my stance on rwas now that larry <laughs> fink is here uh, <laughs> yeah we was yeah we was laughing because i was like how how could anybody be bearish on on tokenization that's crazy this whole market is tokenizing <laughs> <laughs> pretty much like that's one of the big narratives in this space are we too late for rwas no you no. you're pretty much very early yeah you're early think about it right now as much as we talking about rwas still you don't have you didn't have no alex becker tweet about rwa just yet alex becker recently put out a tweet on ai and that had a lot of you guys bullish on ai so <laughs> you're gonna see when he does the same thing and leo starts to talk about it only right now the only big crypto youtuber that i've seen talking about rwas is crypto banter and he's not really giving y'all some of the good plays he's just giving you guys the whole the whole like space as overview. a overview we showed yeah. you we showed mm -hmm. you the tweet right so you're going to start to see more people are going to start talking about rwas very soon here and i told i told you guys it's my second biggest narrative of this of this cycle uh birdman with the head emojis when is all coin chasers <laughs> it's not opening up my boy the only way you want to get in now, you got to pay that eighty dollar <laughs> tier, bro. Yeah, that's for the OG tier. The guys already know that are in it knows how much value they're getting, right? Think about some of the plays that you guys want. We've already gotten into it. Let me just bring up an example here, right? Let me bring it up an example here. Alex Becker here is telling y'all the gaming is about to be very huge, right? This one will cook. Guess guess who who's in it? The All Coin Chaser Group. We are in this, and we got two. We got in two rounds of it two rounds of it so while you guys are begging or waiting for that twenty dollar tear to open up it's not going to open up because that's because for the people that was with me throughout the whole bear you know how tough the bear market was well i gave them the biggest discount and they still even at the eighty dollar tier they're still at the biggest discount possible right now because if you guys were around last cycle you guys know that tier was five hundred dollars i'm probably mm -hmm. maybe deep in the bear bull market we'll probably get up to five hundred dollars we'll see but right now it's very cheap for what all the value you're getting out of it one one tge you're gonna gonna cook one of these let me put it let me just give you an example here of some of that came out for us already that's already been cooking corpo this is a big one recently hit about a dollar right yeah, that's one that's that doing well right. for us um poly hedera actually is out uh but it's not what is it what is this tigger it's out right now we got into this one this is also a big one uh what else i can't i can't think about all of them off the top of my head right now but we've gotten into some of the biggest plays even if you look at his list where's his list at yeah his list alex becker's list we got into blood loop like i already told you guys we we pretty much almost got into this one chrono forge my pet hooligan that, that one i was tracking for a minute i heard you got in that i was like yo because they had they had a token on the market and i thought it was gonna like just stay on but they went and did a pre i was like man i did all that research for no reason <laughs> <laughs> chrono forge yeah man yo yeah we yo listen i'm telling you we got into Godzilla. trust me you're getting at a very good price right now i'm giving you guys the most value of any youtuber in this space and i i hate to say it but it's very true though like <laughs> If you really want to get your step your crypto game up, you just got to come to the all coin chasers, man. Come to the all coin chasers. Uh, what is this? Did this thing pause? Because I see some comments coming in, but it's not refreshing on this side here. What's going on here? Oh, I think I think our platform froze here. All uh, right, true is a decent play. I'm gonna have to read off of the off the YouTube thing. Armzilla was good. Armzilla, yo, my dude, stack that stack that soul, yeah. I talked I talked about soul. I don't know how you feel about how you guys feel about arg agriculture coming into RWAs because that's also another um thing actually has a lot of people pretty bullish when it comes I'm um, very to bullish on it. That that goes all in with my whole like uh carbon credits plays and and how all that whole 
market is finna infiltrate uh crypto in a major way in you know for a couple years and then disappear yeah so i love it i love seeing the agriculture get tokenized soil getting tokenized carbon getting tokenized like this is crazy <laughs> yeah a lot of things is getting tokenized man a lot of things i'm trying to figure out why is this thing not on it happens to me sometimes too i know damn i wish i could sh i could like show it up here but okay um shizzy says what up ea ec and everyone else what up, uh, shizzy? yeah shizzy uh goldfinch that's what as a matter give us give us a rwa play shizzy <laughs> <laughs> good to go says 80 dollars is worth it guys give some love hit that like for ea let's go let's go let's go remember oh you remember that 500 dollar tier shizzy <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you don't know there was a 500 hundred dollar tier which i only limited to 10 what was it five or ten people i think it was like at that 20 dollar tier at 500 hundred dollar tier they essentially got all the all coin pick like all coins earlier than the regular group for sure let me sign up just on ea call i made enough to pay for five years and some left over damn oh yeah example op sec at 17 cents oh yeah now nah, we killed op sec bro we killed op sec we killed i know zo you don't like op sec man we, i um we killed that boy it was just uh it was it was some iffy things about it but it's run it's run so i'm uh <laughs> i'm hey, let it go we killed that one boy oh my god when i started yeah. to see a lot more of the bigger shillers start talking about it i was like oh god damn yeah yeah, yeah. it got to the point where xb x what is it xbt had to fight it a little bit bring it down <laughs> and this thing was on a it was on a crazy run i was like yeah, it was yeah. already running then alex mentioned it and it kept going even further yeah mm -hmm. it's just so i think it was so many of these um it i mean it, it did look nice don't get me wrong but it was at the, at the time or even now it was just so many people just making up different G ai plays and gpu plays you kind of yep. just i had to step back and see what was what and there's so much there's just so much fluff in the market you couldn't really tell what was what i agree with that man you know what's crazy gpu was also like uh like an rwa play just gpu as a narrative you can put oh, it yeah. into rwas true or deep in so gpu is about to get hot um for gaming is gamium is coming out you're gonna have ether coming out very soon so gpu is about to get hot it's about to get hot let me get to my next play though let me get to my next play meta zero here meta zero this to me is a very it's a very good gem i really haven't talked about it too much i know my guy crypto millie has talked about it a lot but these guys are bringing gaming assets on chain right so it's like a it's a it's hitting the game narrative the rwa narrative they already have brought in um csgo um guns on chain so it's all about bringing gaming assets on chain in my opinion and they're in that you know layer zero layer zero ecosystem that's what they're leveraging essentially right right now it is sitting at 18 cents let me let me get a let me get a better look for you guys let me get a better look for you guys hold on so i can imagine more rwa slash gaming plays coming on to this space if any if any project comes into the space and are able to tokenize like you know some i don't want to call them nft but skins off of fortnite call of duty whatever it may be they're going to be highly successful in crypto and meta zero being able to do something like that for csgo one of the most popular gaming gaming um gaming plays out there well not plays but sorry uh games out there still a lot of people are playing csgo betting on csgo and it's only sitting at a 20 million dollar market cap as of right now i think if you guys go on to their twitter you can see a little bit more of why i'm bullish uh let's bring it down here i want to i want to show you guys that they brought what they brought you can see they're doing some giveaways but i want to show you they brought some csgo skins on chain where's it at where's it at where's it at here we go so you have already some of the the guns on chain as of right now which is pretty interesting i don't know how you guys feel about this but i want to hear your opinions on this one as of right now as far as gaming i mean i had heard about this one a while ago i think i had it on my list somewhere but i'm gonna be honest i didn't even know that i didn't even know it was out yet um i don't know i just I mean, I think it's definitely dope for what it does. But it's just so much saturation, even for myself that likes gaming and stuff. And gaming, I'm just wondering if it would be one that stands out. But like you said, it does have the gaming narrative and RWA working for itself. And I mean, doesn't 
is it all the tokens are there's no dilution really right uh i don't think all the tokens is out oh the all the tokens is out yeah, yeah that's Seems bullish like for it definitely so yeah i mean i think it, it could definitely it could be a good play i, I think this is pretty this. i think this is only one right now that's in this space that's actually targeting um you know gaming assets and bringing them on chain so if there's more competition of course it'll probably come out later down the line but right now it does have that first mover advantage for me in my opinion that's what made it very bullish for me I want to know what you yeah, think, I think um so i've seen you talking about like moving the the game assets around right i've seen a couple of different platforms doing it one of them's uh normat i think or what, what was it, it what is it called i think it's hold on let me, let me give you the right name um <clears throat> actually i'll send you a tweet where they're talking about it but this is something that i've been bullish on since i got into into like the gaming sector is like okay making some of these games cross cross compatible so seeing you know doing that cross chain and there's a bunch of different gaming chains popping up that's that's not that looks kind of good i gotta do more research on it yeah it's to me at this point at a 20 million dollar market cap it's not really too much you can really lose off of this right in my right. opinion right yeah yeah you put like a thousand dollars in it of course it depends everybody's risk tolerance of course you put a thousand dollars on this right that's a 10x that's about a 200 billion dollar a 200 million dollar market cap nothing too crazy you got 10k does it two it does a 100x that's a two billion dollar market cap yeah so to me that, I just look that at, does have potential yeah yeah i just look at it especially with all the tokens out if the if this is truly true of right, course right. all the tokens being out that's that's pretty high in my mm -hmm. opinion still of course i think this is mainly going to go crazier as layer zero itself comes out this one may just mm -hmm. you know it may have its good pumps here and there but until the actual big dog of that ecosystem comes out it's not going to be really like something for people really going to look into until the big dog comes out because now, now people are going to look into layer zero they're gonna be like oh what's in this ecosystem what is utilizing layer zero right now right just like egan layer i told you guys egan layer is about to be crazy i know you guys know about egan layer oh, right yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. any altcoin attached to egan layer about to go nuts when it comes out restaking is crazy egan layer is the only altcoin so far i've seen in this space let me pull it up it's the only altcoin in this space right now that i've seen az16 himself throw all the money possible in it let me yeah he threw a bag in there yeah <laughs> he he yeah. this the only altcoin i seen him throw 100 million dollars in so why is he so bullish on Damn, it i don't know 100 million for from andrew just for himself by himself yeah not, not not everybody else himself if he is that bullish on it i am that bullish on it <laughs> I, i'm following where he's a hundred million dollars bro i might have to join y'all on that i don't know because that's Listen, crazy i'm gonna try to get um, the the airdrop everything i'm already in some of the plays that's in it you if you guys pay attention to the channel we we got one of the casino plays the gamble fly gamble fly plays that's in this ecosystem then we also got another protocol that's partnered <clears> with egan layer and layer zero two all coins are very bullish on so ah uh, yeah just just follow the money sometimes follow the money sometimes see let me see some of the comments here because i can't pull it up on my thing anymore i'm really upset about that all right uh ta -ta -ta. i'm gonna wait uh, i'm gonna wait for the next month to start because uh, i know nah it does it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna charge you twice patreon change that if you join today on the 22nd you don't get charged again till the 22nd of next month so that's how it works now I have love that too because I, I hated that about Patreon. Yeah. Have you heard of a micro cap soil? Yeah. Actually, if you guys don't know, I've actually talked about soil on the channel. Let me let me just pull it up for you guys. Because it's already out now. But I was already pretty I was pretty interested in soil. Because of bringing agriculture on chain. They had a bunch of things working for them already. Let me. All right, it's an art. I gotta forget what I put the title under. Sometimes I just gotta bring you guys the Carfax, man. <laughs> Let me see. Where is it at now? Oh, we talk about Alloy X. And I can't even. I gotta look into the video. I'll talk. I'll find it later. But another comment. Let me see. They have a connection with G Swift. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But all right, let me get into one more, one more RWA play, just in case you guys thought I forgot. Essentially, Relio, I have to bring it up, guys. 
Relio has been making me crazy amounts of money. I have not talked about it for a long time and I still hold my bag, right? Now, you guys already know, if you guys was on the channel, how bullish I was on uh, Relio. I'm still very bullish on it because it has the tokenomics for it, for you guys to be bullish on it, right? I think the max, I think the supply right now is about 40, 40 something, 40 something circulating supply. They don't have the right max supply on here. The max supply is 75. Uh, 75 million which that supply isn't going to get reached for 38 years so that that had me bullish when i seen it's going to take a long time to get bullish on like to to get to that max supply not only that with their relio verse i think they renamed it they renamed their relio verse but with the land sales on there it as adds a deflationary aspect to relio right so you guys remember i was talking about it about eight cents right you guys could have been paying attention there i've even talked about it when it was at 11 cents Relio is also one of those RWA plays that not a lot of people have conviction on, right? But the thing is, some people probably call it a scam or whatever it is, but it pumps crazy, right? The tokenomics allows it to pump crazy. And you can see just from the 24-hour move here, right? From 138 to 164. Let's look at the past three months here. It's gotten all the way up to about, yeah, my one. Yeah, That's that was well. an all-time high, right? But it has moved from 60 something cents where it's been on a low for a minute and it has pumped again. So, guys, don't think I, I, I forgot about some of these plays just because I don't talk about them. It's just I still hold them. It's right now it's only going to be down 71 percent from his all time high, which was three years ago. Relio is going to be a big mover and it's going to move pretty fast. I don't know how you guys feel about our um, Relio, but I want to know your thoughts man look i've been seeing you bullish on relio for a long time and i had it i have had it on my list to do some research but it's one of those ones where like man, i could have got it at 10 cents so now you skipped I, it over I, so now i skipped over that's the only reason why i skipped over like i haven't paid i'm like i could have got it at 10 cent man but it's no, it, yeah true. it's, it's Last chugging time away I was on the show we talked about this too yeah, I've been I, I've honestly been telling you guys about Relio as of right now. Um, they also they also put out a way for you guys to actually earn their RST token. I don't know if their RST token is actually out right now. Let me see. Nah, the RST token isn't out just yet. But I think they did something where you guys can. Is it today? Was it that? Let me see. I forgot. Is either I got the email for it or it was a tweet. But essentially, you're able to get some of the RST tokens. I think as if you stake the R um, Relio token. I don't remember. I got to look into it. But right now, Relio is looking pretty good, of course, in my opinion. A lot of people may be indifferent about it. But I'm just I'm just going to be holding it because I got it at a very good price. All right. But so I know you don't have anything else. I do want to hear what your thoughts is on Goldfinch, though. Um, I just think it's, you know, it's the same as um, I was saying with um, was Ando. You know, I just think it's going to bring more people to a lot of people tired of the banking system. And I know we got a lot of lending and borrowing platforms and stuff, but um, I just think this one I have more respect for it because I know, of course, he didn't throw $100 million in there, but I know Andreessen Horowitz is also connected to Goldfinch. And so, you know, a lot of people going to follow it, what he does or whatever. And so just cutting out the, that middleman between borrowing and lending and stuff um because even i think uh one of my friends was trying to get a loan the, the other day and not just the interest rates but just the whole setup of how you used to you know you used to just qualify tell your income which you know what you make on your job and get a loan and now they just make it so much more difficult so um i just think a play like this with on chain borrowing and lending is you know i think it's bullish for the space um they, yeah, they got enough. the connections and the uh the partners to do it so right now you see you see her talking about it right now so this could be something very good for you guys to look into as well right i think it's pretty high in terms of the market cap where's at but of course you guys can see odino has gone up to that billion dollar market cap easily i think it got a, it wasn't odino around like a um a 500 million dollar market cap though when it, it first came out like four or something like that it was a little bit low it wasn't too high i think it was like four about 410 420 when it first started maybe I think our, these RWA play, uh, platforms is where a lot of traditional money, traditional players are going to inject a lot of money into. And then you're going to start to see some of these plays really go up. And I'm telling you guys, I do believe that BlackRock is going to buy some RWA's plays, whether that's Odino, Proppy, Goldfinch. But just know, 
they will buy an RWA play, maybe a few of them. And if you guys start to look into these, because right now, I'm telling you right now, these plays, not too many people are really talking about it, right? But once that that move happens from BlackRock or even Kathy Woods or whoever, they switch. announced that they bought some, you know, X amount of altcoin or whatever it is. I'm telling you, you're going to see everyone on their mom on YouTube talking about that altcoin. Right now, you could take the opportunity, just go look into the RWA space. Look at where some of these big, um, big people, big players have invested their money. Like Andrea Andreasen, where he put some of his money, like just like you know, you can see here, backed by him. Right? This is for Goldfinch. You can follow some of these names. You, these names are pretty credible, and I think this is where Goldfinch is probably going to look to see where the credible people in this space has put their money. Right? Coinbase, Andreasen where they have put their money and they're probably going to buy one of these altcoins that is partnered with them right so let me see what you think jay what's your last what's your last pick my bad i was muted um i'm gonna have to say bst block square wow did i did i just pass it oh yeah it was right here i did like block square too though what's up with block Check square man the, um Oh man, I just I just like what they're doing. I like the idea of providing that you know tokenization infrastructure for institutions. Like Zoe said, like the institutional money coming into this space. Like this is this is where it gets in at, you know. But adding adding the extra like DeFi and liquidity aspect to the overall RWA space, I think is where the big like innovation for crypto is going to be. And you know, with them allowing people to like like mainly, <clears throat> it's bringing the equity of the real world assets on chain. So like that is the part that's gonna get crazy when people could take crypto loans against a piece of real estate. Um, but mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I like this one is because they're actually partnered with Deloitte. And you know, Deloitte is one of the big uh, firms for auditing <clears throat> in the world. Um, it's one, I think, what do they call it? The big three or the big four like that. But Deloitte, a Deloitte partnership is crazy. <laughs> you yeah. don't see that in you don't see that in crypto so you add you couple that with the fact that like hey it's trying to allow people to use their real estate equity um and bring it on chain and do a whole bunch of different stuff with it and, and providing this infrastructure for people is yeah i'm i'm big on that and they're out there the marketing is good they're talking to a lot of people they're they're sitting like you said uh the other coin was on a panel with kathy wood and same thing i see with this uh with this project is like they're always on panels with like key players like that and i think that's something to pay attention to at this state in the bull market you gotta because there's a lot of good stuff out there you gotta make sure that your project is working if you think it's gonna do 100x that's a fact that's <clears> absolutely <throat> facts and it's only at a 22 million dollar market cap i mm -hmm. do like that right and pretty much from well yeah, i tried to give some low caps because there's some there's some high caps out there but some low caps actually like doing something is like 22 million partner with like Deloitte man come on <laughs> facts <laughs> I do see some comments here let me see uh, da, da, da. tell me what's your thoughts on equal and scale two tokens same decks one one for each chain on FMT and base okay let's look at it hold on let's look equal at it I don't know if you guys know anything about equal <clears throat> I keep it 100. I don't know nothing about Phantom. Oh, they're... Oh, it's the two tokens on two different... Okay. So this one is on Phantom and then the other, the one's other on one base. is on base. Okay. So I don't... I don't. That one I don't get though. Are they, are they doing two separate things with those two tokens? equalizer yeah i'm not sure why 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 do they need if it's the same decks why they have two tokens uh, if this is on base you know I'm, I'm pretty bullish on base you guys already know that but said, <laughs> yeah but <laughs> well, base going crazy man but i ain't gonna lie i was using the arrow for a little bit but i say hey man base lets me use uniswap for two cents see 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 why you hating <laughs> Go use hey, that. I'm not, arrow, man. that. I'm not hating that. I'm not hating, man. That's tight. I had to buy some more uni. 
but not but no, I if got this a is a base zero, though. if this is a dex i'm not really too interested in it because you guys already know my my dex on base is arrow I, coinbase put money into arrow why would i go into any other decks that's just the way i'm looking at it so arrow right now you guys already know when we caught where's arrow how's arrow looking right now how's my baby looking Mm, about 77 cents not too bad right eh, not too bad if bitcoin didn't take that little tumble i'm telling you this is also another altcoin that could hit that dollar mark if bitcoin stops messing around it was at 80 something cents this morning i'm like yeah yeah we're gonna see a dollar this weekend next thing you know bitcoin want to dump a little bit here we go yeah I'm still yeah, holding. I'm that, holding that's the bag. A, that's a nice play, man. I, I that was good. One. I wish I got around early for real, though. Around thirty cents. It's going crazy. Yeah, I it's saw. Zoe, I was. I was in your live when you said you wish you got into this one. Yeah, yeah. What kept you away from getting into it, though? Talk about that. Um, I don't know. I, I know it's going to sound all crazy, but it was because it was base. I was like, well, base. You know, I didn't think it was going to have no token. They were really trying to. They said they were. Oh really, yeah, really I was against me. No money. <laughs> then yeah. now you got all the things coming out about the wallets. And I'm like, oh, so now you. <laughs> yeah, I was against me. <laughs> yeah, I had me looking like the crazy man in the on the stream talking about yeah. But I, the thing is, I wasn't I wasn't bearish on it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna look into that later. And later was <laughs> later was too late. <laughs> ah, it's not too late, my boy. It's it started not too late. running, boy. Yeah. But basis, if it I starts think, to go crazy. It can do good. It can yeah, go starting to see basis probably having a token, right? And uh, I know uh, I, I was so uh, sure they would not. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I just had to laugh a little bit. I just had to laugh a little bit. They probably let y'all know. Are they are they gonna have a token? It, it's not fully announced yet, but I, I y'all saw my video. Y'all saw my video. I gave y'all the hints and everything. It's been, yeah, it's, I was about to say it's been. Yeah, a little you gave hint me the hints last year. I'm like, like the hints is there. I'm. I know Brian. Brian knows how to beat the SEC, guys. He knows mm -hmm. how to drop a token with no mm -hmm. issues. Yeah. And once he drops that token, I'm telling you that base ecosystem, just like Jupiter was able to you know make that ecosystem pretty hot for solana a little bit well it, it woke it up a little bit because more money came on to the to that ecosystem people was trading on it we seen it with Ar arbitrum once they finally launched their their you know their token more people started to trade on there right base is going to have the same exact thing soon as they drop that free liquidity that stimulus check for that ecosystem people are going to be trading on there they're probably going to be using aerodrome to trade because that's where some of these new altcoins are actually starting to list onto they got heroes of my on there smt Proppy, uh brett that damn meme coin that's been going crazy um what else there's too much that's going on in the base that's i'm just too bullish on it i'm sorry guys yeah i'm getting more bullish on base after seeing the um i talked about it on stream and in a video like seeing a big old exodus uh, from Solana to base and then more people going on base it's like it was so many people switching up to base people thought it was fake people Yo, thought it was like shield but even if to me if they shield that and they had all the influencers announce announce it and get everybody bullish on base that makes me more bullish on base I wouldn't hate on that base is the what the they got a coinbase rap oh I thought they had I thought they had the actual token coinbase on here I was about to say what the heck uh but base is where the retail users is going just especially it's going to be through the app it's going to be through the coinbase app uh yeah blackrock is going to pump us ec what what alpha you have on tokenization agriculture or make a video that's for you jay what do you say the, the alpha that you have for tokenization of agriculture or are you going to make a video on it yeah we'll make a video on it but um Man, not not any project. Like I don't have a project specifically. So one, the one projects that I'm looking at right now, the first things first is the carbon credits coming on chain. You know, so that's first. The, the big player in that is Dovu. Yeah. Uh, Bluff Bluff City, my boy. Um, we got into Mel. Uh, we got into Moonwell about one cent. I called it out. This was also another base play for me. Um, it, it's all obviously I knew about this play because it's on Moonbeam and all of that. I was trading it on Moonbeam. Uh, but I seen it had a little bit of potential on base and I called it out. Some people actually bought it. So we're actually pretty up on this one right now. We're pretty, we're pretty good on this one. All right. Yeah, that was nice. I just thought it was on Moonbeam. I didn't even know about the whole base thing. Oh yeah. 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 I saw I one. I moved the base. 8 million. Mm -hmm. I'm t there's some plays in this space. I think some of the older altcoins could revitalize their, their life. If they get onto base, mm -hmm. that's just my opinion though. True, true.
it's possible we, we have to see those damn i keep looking to try to bring up some of these comments but i can't um okay mpl is that maple yeah maple is undervalued i do believe that maple is definitely undervalued maple is another good play i do like maple and i like the factor you guys know when it comes to oh damn maple right now is at 133 million dollar market cap they do need some good news right and that supply that circulating supply right now it's going to cause a little bit of pump for it and let's look at the max right now not not the max the year has an okay move yeah like a 2x not the too crazy a little bit above a 2x i do think I that maple a lot. i might get maple to trade that chart looks great <laughs> you looking that at it looks, over there? that chart looks ready to go i'm looking at what you got on the screen i'm just oh. like that chart look ready i'm about to pull it up my other one that i do <clears> like <throat> my other one that i do like is also the factor now you guys do remember i made that singular video on the factor and it's still still had a decent decent buying opportunity here right now they had partnered with some company to like bring what was it t-bills i forgot how much tokenized t-bills that they had brought in or something like that but right now off the past year they really haven't had a crazy move they have had some big moves and come back down and of course you can see here right so i still got defactor on the list in terms of what i'm looking at if i want to buy for defactor i will buy right now to be honest with you if i wanted to buy the factor it'll be right now and then i do see a lot of you guys are now talking about centrifuge you guys already knew how bullish i was on centrifuge this was a play from last cycle you had chico crypto very high on it right but this is the like the i thought this was going to be the the big mover for rwas if you guys know i've been saying this i thought this was going to lead the way to be honest with you they had partnered with maker i'm like yeah this is going to be the big rwa movement until odino came out of nowhere and it just took the top <laughs> spot i'm like all right go ahead um in a port uh what is it in a port good uh base play what's in a port inner port cross chain swaps nah it, that can't be the same inner port i'm talking with because i like inner port i don't think it's that though if it's in a if it's this inner port and yeah i like it because if you guys don't know this essentially is a lower market cap version of rvf allowing you to trade from different chains using layer zero right you can go ahead launch the app if you guys don't know I've, I've even talked about this this is one of my low cap gems out here right let's say you wanted to you had ether nah, 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 let's say on ethereum here you had eth on ethereum you wanted to go ahead and buy yourself some bnb on binance you could go ahead and do that easily and mm -hmm. if you even wanted to you could send it to somebody else's wallet like that so they're using layer zero in that mm, layer zero for this for rvf i don't know what like layer zero type play they're using for it that's why i was looking at import more right but I don't know what mechanism rvf is using but rvf is actually getting a lot of hype right now too they have been running um if y'all like interport for this video then y'all might love um strike x because it's strike like x? cross yeah cross chain swaps for rwas is it trending right now is that five percent i think it's it might be is it this one strike x right yeah, strike X. No, yeah, it's it's not trending. Oh, it's the same. It's pretty much doing the same thing. Uh -uh. Yeah, but it's in the art, but it's in the RWA sector. So, you know, like I, when when people start coming in uh, in the tokenization sector, I mean, so like when people start coming in, into this market and they start doing so, they're not gonna want to care about which chain it's on. Yeah, they, they probably the omni chain. Yeah, everything's gonna be omni chain. I think that's not gonna be I'm telling you, I don't think that's gonna be the true narrative until layer zero comes out. Yeah, yeah. You don't think so? Uh-uh. Wormhole was out. Right? Oh yeah, wormhole is out. Yeah, that's true. And no one's really no, no, worm, worm actually wormhole didn't do their airdrop yet though. Oh, right? they didn't? No. Oh, yeah, they were supposed they to. I don't know what I don't know what the hold up is. I'm not getting it, so I stopped paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is side note, side note. Y'all seen dog with with hat, right? Yeah, I know y'all seen yeah. that damn that damn meme, bro. Hmm. I don't even want to say it on stream, bro. Well, what if? Nah, <laughs> like it's funny, but it's racist at the same time. 
Oh, I've been oh, seeing the, uh, that popping up, man. The, 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 what you call it? The, the N the word with with bike yeah. or something like that. Men, yeah, uh, stolen bike the scene. one that. Yeah, one that, bike. Come on, bro. Um, I don't know if you saw that one, but I saw the N word with do rag, and that thing did like twelve thousand percent. Nah, see, that's OD, bro. See, why? Why is this even like, a thing? Uh, it's, it's some like, worse ones, though, man. I'm like, it's I don't like calm man, that down because I don't like that. They, um, man. yeah, man, they was, they was, they was laughing, and then today. It's crazy because I don't know if y'all know Bit, uh, Bitcoin's uh, Bitcoin Zay. You know, he was talking about it. And I'm like, man, they finna get worse. Like, it started yeah. off as like just inward this, inward that. But they finna go crazy. That was 4chan. It's crazy, my boy. Uh, Crypto God says MPL could 1K with the narrative. I agree. Could possibly. I agree, man. Those tokenomics for sure. Yeah. The writing is on the wall for RWA. People still sleeping on RWA. Crypto God, I know you and me have been the only ones constantly talking about rwa i talk about it in the stream you comment about it All right it was like a tandem between us two now people are starting to see that don't worry let the year continue to go on as more development happens in rwas people are going to realize that they should have had some rwas in a portfolio a lot of there's a lot of undervalued rwas as of right now right a lot. of course all the money pretty much went to damn old no i'm hot about that still but <laughs> And how Mantra just flipped. Um, Man, Ordino and Mantra is Ordino and Mantra as the top two is, is it's crazy. Wild. It's wild. And then Centrifuge and Polymesh under it, and and Pendle, oh, and LCX. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, this space is and, crazy. The and the Lions style, block. Man. Oh, and the Lions. At least the Lions block, man. That was supposed to be the the saving grace of bringing equities on chain. That was that one should be number one all of this here bro yeah it's gonna be some time bro just wait until a lot more things get tokenized and come on chain rwa mm -hmm. is gonna be a hot narrative but you guys got any closing thoughts man oh i see that red belly go ahead you guys got any closing thoughts though get money <laughs> you said get money yeah <laughs> hey you gotta tell them how to get it and they don't got it up here man follow, follow the right groups they know they know what it is and it's crazy like i haven't even to be honest um i haven't um i have two probably three people that's in your patreon too and just from the word of mouth like i don't think people understand the value especially just the value of, of honest youtubers and people in the space and stuff and it's funny that you say apparently people been uh what you call it uh complaining about 85 like that's they don't realize people don't know the value man i, I don't from even what i'm hearing about yours i don't think this is something they should be complaining about people you want stuff for free man so if you want to make money, you got to get in the right groups, man. If you want to make money, you got you got to spend money in crypto to make money, or you right. got to make the connections to be able exactly. to to sell those connections to other people. Really, that's essentially how crypto works. Some if if I'm able to get in the rooms with, well, if I if I could if I could if I could get in the room with Alex Becker, I'm letting y'all know everything I found out. I'm telling y'all right now, but y'all gonna pay for it. <laughs> Y'all not getting it for free because I I had to work my way up there. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. Y'all seen all coin chasers, man. What about you, Jay? Any closing thoughts? Yeah, man. That's it. Enjoy y'all day. Work hard. You know what I mean? Always do your own research. Don't keep your money on exchanges. And yeah. Yo, it's Friday. Do, 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 be, be wise. Bump that future. Have some fun, right? Make sure to take a break from the crypto markets, you know? and come back in next week i think next week we're gonna see a little bit more of a pump is it that is next week the last week of march right uh yeah Ooh. i think so much kind of yeah if it's the last week of march and we getting closer and closer to the having i i did want to say this let me say it as the closing thoughts as you guys already know i pretty much shown you guys exactly how much of bitcoin is being bought up and the closer you get into or bought up in mind right so mm -hmm. the supply shock and the demand is just getting up there the closer and closer you get to that having it's going to get harder and harder to get more bitcoin especially be in mind right so that is going to cause more of the run i'm telling you april is about to be a crazy month for bitcoin right mm -hmm. I, I, i'm gonna tell you right now we we probably see 80 in april i don't know how you guys feel about that but i think we see 80 in april oh, yeah 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 we can easily see 80 uh but the market goes up and down be ready if there is a dip because if it doesn't happen right when the having happens it's, it's definitely coming you know what I mean? facts and the demand is there so just you know 
be ready for that every everything all coin where could we hit you up on the discord my guys but make sure y'all have a good weekend check out the patreon if you haven't already you want to step up your crypto game get into some upcoming projects private sales hit that patreon group well hit the discord first ask your questions on how the patreon works then join that patreon let's get out of here guys have a good